Thank you guys for coming back to another episode of Cobra TV. So as a lot of you already know, German journalists were able to hang out with Hello Games and actually play the game. They started tweeting details about what they seen and what they were able to play, and Sony kindly asked them to stop and remove the tweets. Well, they signed a non-disclosure agreement not to talk about it, and there was a uh, this embargo that they have of not being able to talk about it is supposed to lift tomorrow. But on a website, I guess they leaked some of the information. And I'm not sure where to go with this, whether to say it's fact, but it does seem like all of this is legit. On a website called T Online, an article was released giving details about their experience playing No Man's Sky and holding no punches. And Elka, who's a German YouTuber, which is a very good friend of mine, did, in fact, translate it into English for us. If you don't know who Elka is, check the link below. Guy's a good guy. But if you go to the link on T Online, that link is actually that link has actually been taken down. So the article is now gone. And I believe it was taken down from the German journalist and not Sony. So this all does seem like it is pretty legit, but keep your guard up. But let's go into this list. Uh, some of it was translated, you know, from German to English. Um, so it might be a little bit hard to read. But tomorrow should be an excellent day for some pretty well-confirmed information, but the list reads, uh, own cultures per planet who use robots or animals as workers. Uh, so maybe that explains why we've seen the drone scanning the alien animal. The next one reads, there are robots that worship the sun and for which you can complete missions. And this one stumps me a little bit because, you know, Sean Murray is pretty adamant of not having missions in the game as quoted by saying, um, you'll not have uh, a situation where someone says, I've lost five space chickens. Can you please go here and find them for me? Down the list, it reads, different resources change the flora, resulting in forms of other fauna. You have the option to look for alternatives if you can't find the resources for the aliens, such as in the water, where, for example, mutated sharks are waiting. So from this, it sounds like you're gathering resources for intelligent aliens. Very interesting. Let's keep reading. Large robots are mining resources in the area where the crystals for the sniper rifle is. So there's a sniper rifle. Entering the area raised an alarm and the robots attacked you. Let's read that one more time. Large robots are mining resources in the area where the crystals for the sniper rifle is. Entering the area raised an alarm and the robots attacked you. So there's a sniper rifle in the game. I wonder if that's just a, another multi-tool that acts more and looks like a sniper rifle. Not sure. Then it says religious Corvax places with inscriptions are there. You can learn the language and then generate the knowledge to get better prices when trading with a Corvax. So you're trading with actual alien species called the Corvax. There are also animals that can hunt you down halfway across the planet. So animals that either A, remember you and pursue you, or animals that uh, can chase after you while you're trying to fly. That <laughs> sounds pretty cool. Corvax sell weapons for crystals. This Corvax thing is really getting to me here. Aliens in No Man's Sky? Maybe that's one of the features they were t thinking about adding in. Corvax sell weapons for crystals. So it is leading to maybe possibly aliens, intelligent aliens in the game, no matter what was said. There are whole folks on planets. Wait. There are whole folks on planets. F-O-L-K-S as in people. For example, the Corvax, alien race with excellent engineers. <laughs> Wait a second. There are whole folks on planets, for example, the Corvax, alien race with excellent engineers. Uh, okay, uh, you can form alliances with animals that can protect you on the planet. There are transporter ships that look like a Millennium Falcon. I wonder what the transporter ships are used for. Temperature can also be observed on the planet. So, uh, to, okay, so now, 
taking a look at some of this information, it does look like these guys are saying that there are alien, uh, intelligent alien species in the game called the Corvax, and that there's a bunch of them on planets. Um, not just the Corvax, but it says for uh, there are whole folks on planets, for example, the Corvax, alien race with an excellent engineers. I don't know, guys. Um, it sounds really, really cool. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I guess they're going to come out um, legally be able to come out with this information and we'll be able to learn a lot more. Plus, we had the weird thing with uh, the PlayStation blog announcing that for that No Man's Sky was going to be up for pre-order, having the date 3-3 in parentheses. Um, either 3-3, it's going to be pre-orderable. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that it's going to be available for sale 3-3 because it said out 3-3. But I think that maybe it was just a pre-order. Anyways, there's a lot of accidental uh, postings here and there on T on T online <laughs> and on PlayStation blog. Um, but it's a lot of exciting news. And I think with the fact that the embargo lifts on 3-3, Sony had posted that the you were going to be able to pre-order No Man's Sky 3-3, March 3rd. Just coincides perfectly together. So, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, guys. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be excellent, exciting. Let me know what you guys think about the information that uh, we talked about here in this video below. And definitely make sure you tell Elka, who I will link below, thank you for translating it into English. Stay tuned for a really exciting day tomorrow. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.